Hey, what is up YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech, and boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Have you ever wanted to upload a video, but first wanted to make sure that no confidential information could be visible in this video? Well, there's a free app you can use to do that, and it doesn't leave a watermark. In this video, I'll walk you through the various features of this app and how you can use them. We'll start off by going to the App Store and downloading the Movstash Blur Video app. When you launch the app, you'll see four different options that you can use to blur your video. The first option is pretty self-explanatory. It blurs the entire video. The second option is probably what most people will be using. It allows you to blur a specific area in the video. To get started, tap the video icon at the bottom. If your video is in the camera roll, like mine is, then tap the first option, Video. Locate the video that you want to blur, tap it and press Select. You have three different shapes to choose from the circle, the heart, and this weird equal sign thing. I'm going with the circle for now. You can pinch to resize and drag it to the position you want. If you press the raindrop icon at the bottom, that allows you to change the style of the blur. If you click on the three lines on the right, it gives you the option to blur everything except the circle. You also have the ability to increase the blurriness or change the position of the circle. The simple blur option is nice and easy to figure out. The only problem is, it doesn't work so good when you have a target in motion. And that's where the blur with timeline mode comes in. Once you've imported your video, click the plus to get your circle. Resize it using the four arrows at the top left and place it where you want it. Now drag the slider to a frame where your object has moved. Press the three lines in the bottom left and move the correct axes to allow your circle to follow along with your moving target. You'll have to manually keep on doing this as your target moves. The software does try to predict the movement, but it's not that accurate. When you're done, your end result will look something like this. Hopefully a lot less choppy. Finally, we have the face tracking feature, which is a lot more straightforward. After importing your video, the software will pick up your face immediately. If you click on the first icon, it'll give you an inverted blur, where the circle is the only thing that's not blurred. Clicking the second icon allows you to resize the circle. The third icon allows you to increase the intensity of the blur. The last icon lets you select the type of blur you want. And like I said, one of the great things about this free app is that after you render the video, it doesn't leave any watermarks. Is this an app that you think you'll be using for yourself? Or have you come across a better one? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.